Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be talking about comparing groups or by group summaries. So you can do this in a variety of ways. You could look at numeric summaries or you could look at graphical displays. Today we're going to focus on graphical displays. Now one thing I want to mention and this is difficult sometimes for students but this is kind of a subjective like you're looking at it and trying to figure it out. When we get further on in the chapters, we'll be using statistical inference to see how groups compare. Right now, we're just visually looking at it. Specifically today, we'll be looking at it for graphical displays. So one thing to note, and this should be intuitive, but it's important to mention, when you're comparing two groups, so like here I have iPhone and iPad, you'll notice that the number line being used is going to be the same. That's always true because you want to compare apples to apples, right? So they need to be on a common number line. The other thing is when you compare groups, you're really kind of thinking about center and spread or variability and um, the, the median or the middle. So for these two box plots, because the iPhone box plot is completely above, so the box portion of it is completely above the iPad box, I can say that it appears the median time spent is going to be greater for the iPhone because it is uh, further up, you know, does not overlap the iPad. The other thing is, in terms of variability, you can think about the size of the box, and because the iPad box is much larger than the iPhone box, I'm going to say that I think the variability for the iPad is bigger. So here you can see, let's mark it up in green, you can see that this, this box for the iPad seems to be a fair amount bigger than the box for the iPhone. I also can see that the range for the iPad is much greater, maybe not much greater, but greater than the range for the iPhone. I also can see that these, so let's change color, the actual box is completely below the box for the iPad, is completely below the box for the iPhone. So I would say this one has a higher, so iPhone has a higher average time because this is where the median is and it's completely above the box for, in comparison to the iPad. I also would say that this one, so here, this guy is going to have more variability because it is above, or excuse me, the size of it is larger than the size of the iPad. So. That's how these two compare. Let's look at another one. So here you can see, and this is out of the textbook, both of them are, but <clears throat> here, when you compare these two, you can see here that the boxes overlap. So I would say that their average test score is probably fairly similar. I could say potentially that section one had a slightly higher average test score because their median is higher, but for the most part, because they overlap, I would say they're very similar average test scores. I can also see that the size of the boxes are fairly similar and they also have similar ranges. So I would say the variability for the two groups is also fairly similar. So you're thinking about do they overlap and then you're thinking about where the median is and how big those boxes are or that range is when you're comparing variability. So that's all I have for today. See you in future videos.